guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, so I'm actually making this video because, well, I have a challenge with my friends to see who could go faster on Spa with the Ferrari F2002. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned and you can see how fast I can actually go around here. I think my biggest challenge is you like Sector 2. That, like this car is very sensitive, especially with the, when you have steering assist at 100%, that's kind of where it starts off with. So I normally just like, turn it down to like 50, so it's a little bit easier to deal with. The things, the corners that actually take the most commitment are like our Rouge, and then like this section I'm going through right now. Yeah, I think those are gonna be my trouble areas for the ooh, those are gonna be trouble areas for the next couple of laps. <laughs> Whoa. Uh okay. So that was that's kinda of what I was talking about. This thing is a bit harder to control than some of the other airport cars. And the downside to this car is because when it was built, it was built before the whole DRS thing, so this car doesn't have DRS. All the other airplane cars that I currently have, have DRS, so that's going to be you know, a bit of an issue. The concern is that these cars, these ends, look extremely powerful, I'd like to see what happens. And due to the restrictions in aero, than those modern F1 cars that, uh, which were put in place actually to make them slower, so the sport could be safer. These cars should be faster, well, on paper. A 156.2, I'm pretty sure I could go faster than that, because that, that lap wasn't all that clean. And here comes the tedious section, let's see if I can keep it clean through here. Okay, it wasn't all that clean, but it was better. It's a lot better than the first time around. Where did this car is that if you brake hard enough and then by any chance you end up to dash it back into the fourth. The rear time tends to get a bit loose. Makes it a bit harder to control and a little bit more unpredictable, but for the most part it is easier control. See if I can keep it flat. Nope, not enough downforce and still hit the curb. Yeah, this car is magnetized to that curb. Oh crap, no! Ah! That's a bummer. But based on the time I'm looking at him, I'm still going to be faster. Just one minute, 54.003. If I clean up that last sector, I can definitely go faster on here. If I'm like, probably a 153.8. But, uh, it's going to take a lot of commitment in certain areas to actually pull that off. That was a bit messy there through a rouge. I don't know. Still managed to keep together though. I 
it's a bit rambly here, but uh, guys, uh, that gives to let me know what you guys think of mouse and keyboard driving in the city of Corsa. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. this up he could restart and put or go back in the face and put fresh tires on but I don't want to have to go through all of that hassle to be honest well I guess it's the end of the video thing yeah these tires are shot so I'll see you guys in the next one